guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Elite 66 Rowan and Harper. The Bludgeon Brothers are together in Elite figure form here for us today. And I'm very excited for these. You know, I, I wasn't huge on the gimmick when it first started, but seeing these in figure form, I think they're highly detailed straight out of the packaging. I mean, I can just see from here that Mattel did a, a lot of great things with these figures, and I cannot wait to crack them open. But as you guys know, we won't know unless we get them out of the packaging. So let's cover it right quick. You guys know, names on the side, on the back, there's going to be an epic picture of both men in their gear. Love the way they look there. Um, here's the rest of the set. We have reviewed AJ and Kurt already. If you want to check that out on the channel, you can go ahead and read their little bio if you'd like to. You can pause it now. Spin it, uh, spinning it around, we do have Harper and Rowan on the sides of the boxes looking epic there. And that pretty much covers their boxes, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bludgeon these boxes and crack them out of their packaging. So here we have the Bludgeon Brothers out of their packaging. Guys, looking pretty freaking sweet, nasty. I love the way these look. A lot of detail going on with these. You get their robes, you get their hammers, you get Rowan's mask, you get interchangeable hands, and you get uh, you get a lot of stuff here. So what we're going to do, since they're a tag team, since they're our partnership right here, I guess what we can do is cover their accessories together, cover their figures together, and just do everything together just because I like to do that with tag teams just because, you know, it's not two separate individuals. They're one. They're a unit and stuff. So that's that's what we're going to do here, guys. I guess we'll cover their accessories first, and then we'll take a closer look at their figures, and then we'll get into some elite figure comparisons for both Rowan and Harper. So guys, with these figures, you actually get a ton of stuff here. You can see they both come with both of their entrance jackets, and they're really heavy. I mean, like, inside the packaging, these guys were really heavy. I mean, uh, Rowan's jacket is a bit different than Harper's. As you guys can see, there are there's some red at the top here. His is sleeveless. You know, you got all this stuff going on. You got the Bludgeon Brothers logo on the back. You got all this great detail that they sculpted in here. Obviously, this would have been tough to do in cloth, so I, I can accept this in rubber. Um, I, you know, I'm not going to make a huge deal out of it because this is such a detailed piece that I, I think that it would have to be a defining moments, epic moments or something to get this thing in cloth or something like that, but you get some great colors going through, really nicely sculpted, a lot of cool stuff going on with this. On Harper's, you actually have a bunch of stuff going on and it has one sleeve, which is unfortunate. You know, you won't be able to really, I'll probably hack his arm off right here. I think it'll just look better. You know, you'll be able to both wear their entrance jackets and stuff. Same thing with Rowan's. You can see there are a few differences, but not, you know, not anything crazy besides the hood is obviously sculpted on and it has the extra sleeve. On Rowan's, this thing is actually a separate piece. So you'll put the figure um, you'll put the figure in the thing and then you could stick this over his head and I wish they would have done that with Harper's I guess the reason they didn't was because of the mask and how this works is you take the sheep mask There is a hole right here on the top and the ear of the mask goes through that hole right there And that is how he wears the mask. I don't think that Rowan can wear the mask without having this hood on his head I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Let's go ahead and try it anyways just to see here, but I'm pretty sure that his head will not fit the mask it just won't stay on yeah there's nothing to like grip it i guess i haven't tried it with any other figures but i'm sure that um this is the case you got to have that hood on there in order for it to stay um, that's unfortunate though but i do love this mask i love what's going on here i freaking love all the the sheet masks that the wyatt family and the different members have always came with uh, i have quite the collection of them you guys can see that on vindication with the the wyatt colt but I think this is my favorite. I, I think I would like to customize this, maybe dirt it, dirty it up a bit as it was when Rowan was wearing it. I think it had like some burn, like some uh, smoke stains on it is sort of what it looked like. Maybe in a whiter color would look good too. Uh, maybe detail this would look really, really sick. I could see Chase from Burnout Inc. doing that. That would really bring it out. Maybe even uh, coloring up this piping or something. But really nice sheet mask. You also get the Bludgeon Brothers belt that comes on Rowan. Harper does not have one, but obviously Rowan does, so this is what goes around his waist. I just went ahead and added it into the accessories because it is an extra little thing you get. Um, if you wanted to put one on Harper, I guess buy another Eric Rowan, and you could put that on your Harper figure, figure if you wanted it. You know, it wouldn't be accurate, but you know, you could have both of them rocking the weight belt or whatever you want to call that. You do get both their hammers, and they are the exact same. However, in real life, they did not have the exact same hammers. They were a bit different. 
I think D Freedom 30 on Instagram pointed out, you know, how different their hammers are. I think the only thing that I can find different on these hammers is that the uh, logos on the stripe right or on the handle right here are a little bit thicker than over here and then the logo up top, the Bludgeon Brothers logo over here is a little bit thicker than the one over here. So Rowan's has the I guess lighter logo here and deeper logo here and the opposite is for Harper's hammer. So that's a little weird but they are the same. They have some good heft to them. You know they're not completely hollow. They actually do have some heftiness to it so that's real nice there they are bendy they're not stiff so you can you know ply them get them in those hands and you get the interchangeable hands with rowan you get two uh red colored fists because he both of his arms are taped up and then with harper you get one right red taped fist and then the other is a blank fist because he just has wrist tape on the left side so that is pretty much it for all of their accessories a lot of stuff here i mean like if you take a look at it there is a lot of stuff to go around but uh the Bludgeon Brothers do get all of their nice gear to go with them, but now that we've done that, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the Bludgeon Brothers themselves. So taking a closer look at the Bludgeon Brothers themselves, guys, you can see Harper and Rowan right here. Of course, Rowan is injured right now. I think that's why they had to drop the tag titles to the Usos uh, coming out of WrestleMania or, you know, on to into the summer. And then, uh, so they just took them both off TV. They sort of just disappeared at the drop of a hat. But anyway, getting into the figures, you can see I really like the head sculpt they chose for Rowan this time. It's kind of similar to his others, but it's a bit better as far as the grimacing face. You know, he's more of a pissed off Rowan, which, uh, you know, fits his character pretty well. Harper coming in, you know, he did lose a lot of weight compared to his last two elites. I think it was Elite 29 and then Elite 35. He did lose a bit of a weight. You know, he, he kind of got in better shape here. So, you know, this face is a little bit more narrow, I believe. I think it does look like both of them. Their beards look glorious. Um, going down into the torsos, uh, I do not know if these are new torso modes. I mean, I'm sure they are because, I mean, all this stuff is sculpted on. Uh, all these little, you know, black details coming across the studs, the rips, whatever you want to call it. All of this is sculpted on. It looks fantastic. A lot of detail going on with these guys. Their uh, arms do have their little, uh, you know, Jeff Hardy-esque sort of arms going on with their little red and black sleeves. They got the uh, red wrist tape over here for Luke Harper and these look great. I think they did a great job. We got the belts going on down into the crotch and the legs. The legs are virtually the same. I'm not sure if they're exactly the same. I mean they kind of look and feel the same. I, they, they may be the exact same. I, I mean they, they, they uh, yeah, I think they are the exact same legs and I believe both of them are on ball joints, so if you wanted to pop them off for any stupid reason, maybe make another Bludgeon Brother with a different crotch piece and torso, you could probably do that. But a lot of good detail going on. You got these kick pads going. I mean, they look stupid, to be honest. When they first showed up in this gimmick, I was like, what in the hell are they wearing, man? But I mean, very highly detailed. I mean, they got all the stuff in there. They got the little kick pads. They got the the paint and the, and the sculpt all in here. It kind of reminds me of Boogeyman legs. It's the way they feel with all that roughness to it and everything. I mean, they feel great in the hand. They're heavy. They got the heft to it. I will say this, my Rowan's left shoulder or right shoulder, it's his left shoulder, it really won't go down that much and then the arm wants to pop off so I may have to heat that up to fix it. But I think these figures look great, man. I mean, really highly detailed. I really like what we got going on with both of them. Again, not a huge fan of the gimmick, but I do like them individually. I think that as Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, I like them a lot, you know, with the Wyatt family and everything. I thought they were great, really underrated talents, especially Luke Harper. But I cannot wait for them to return to TV, guys. But now that we've covered their figures, let's get into some elite figure comparisons. So here is Eric Rowan and Luke Harper, or Rowan and Harper, up next to their former elites. We have the most recent Eric Rowan Elite in Elite 48 right here compared to his new one. You guys can see the differences. I mean, the beard shape's a bit different. It's more of a square over here to like a Braun Strowman type pattern here. I do like this one more. I like that pissed off face. It kind of favors Eric Rowan more. You know, it is the true effect, so it is a little bit better. Um, I think it fits nice. I, I think that, you know, it's, it fits well. I mean, they're both really similar as far as build, but uh, obviously uh, he did slim down. I, mean, I believe both of them did slim down when they went to the Bludgeon Brothers gimmick because they came back from injury and uh, or they changed up their gimmicks or whatever and they, they had some time off and they fixed themselves and now they're doing it again. So they'll probably come back under different gimmicks, possibly even returning to the Wyatt family deal. But uh, we have Harper over here compared to his Elite 35 Elite. I do not have the Elite 29 with the flannel t-shirt on there but I think these look good you guys can see the difference in the head skins I mean my god like 
The size difference in the Harper head scans right here is kind of crazy how different they are in size um, compared to each other. Like, look at that. You turn it to the side here, I mean, there, there's a huge difference in the size. This kind of looks like Elias or something. If you, if you looked at it from the back, you would think it was Elias. But Harper looking good. I mean, both of these are fantastic, guys, and uh, I, I think that you should definitely pick them up. And it's kind of crazy just to see, you know, what they look like compared to their other figures. I mean, the, the like, Mattel Elites compared from now until back then, even, you know, 10, 20 series ago, about with this Elite 48, 30 series ago with this right here. I mean, you can just see the leaps and bounds that Mattel has made continuing through the series. Even if you go back to the first Elite series compared to now, it is just crazy to see the progression they've made, and they're getting better and better every single year. And I think 2019, I've said it multiple times already, that 2019 is probably going to be even better. So it's going to get crazy here with the Ultimate Edition and everything. So very excited for more figures to come. But this is it for the Bludgeon Brothers compared to their older Elites. But that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 Elite 66 figure review on Rowan and Harper, the Bludgeon Brothers. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I would highly recommend both of them. I think that they're highly detailed. I think they're going to be on everybody's list for top 10 figures of the year. I highly, highly do think that's going to happen. So I would definitely, definitely pick these up. I know that Elite 67 is up for pre-order as well, so you're definitely probably going to want to grab that as well. Uh, tons of stuff just hitting all at once, and it's kind of insane. So you definitely want to pick and choose on your figures. Again, I wouldn't recommend every single figure. You guys know how I feel. You have heard me explain every figure to you guys, and I hope you guys understand uh, where I'm coming from with each individual figure. But I think you should add the Bludgeon Brothers to your feds. I think you should add the Bludgeon Brothers to your pick fed roster to your to your WWE figure roster because when they return from injury it's going to be really cool to see you know how they evolve if they're going to change I hope they don't change gimmicks because then these figures are going to be really out of, out of date really really soon so hopefully they don't change their gimmick or their look and we can keep these figures you know using them in predictions and stuff but who knows when they'll return it's going to be interesting to see but if you guys enjoyed the review, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you think of both figures. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.